everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you coming to see what I'm up to today. <laughs> um, what I'm up to is I wanted to show you, first of all, this old book. It is a Reader's Digest. You know, we've all seen them. They're the condensed, I think, stories or whatever where they put four or five into, you know, one hardback book. But when I saw this one on the shelf, I was like, oh, it's kind of in bad shape. It actually kind of looks like maybe something might have been chewing on that. <laughs> and um, But anyhow, I looked inside and I want to show you this. Look at this beautiful paper. It is so aged around the edges. It, it's like it almost just glows at me. Um... And the one good thing about it, I'll have to say, is the pages are really not brittle. I mean, you can, you know, actually flip through these and it doesn't break. However, even with that being said, and they are still pliable, yep, you do have to be careful. But what I wanted to show you is um, what I have done. And let me grab my ruler right here. Um, I keep the book intact. And I try not to take any of the pages that have any kind of pictures on them. So I do look front and back um, first. But I just take my steel ruler and I, I, you know, I've told you all before how much I like a steel ruler for tearing. And then I just tear and then I go inside and I hold it stiff and straight up and I tear again. So... What I wanted to show you is that how I use those type of pages as bases, alrighty? And I've got a couple just started here. Um, this is really just using scraps. I had some old blue paper and an old piece of doily. I'm just getting started on these. In this case here, and you probably can't tell, I discovered that I had this old, like, shimmer um, spray that I had gotten long before shimmer sprays and everything came out and it's in a copper color and a gold color so I had sprayed those but um here is what I wanted to show you we're always looking whoops excuse me we're always looking here for things to do with scraps so in this case I tore some playing cards I used um the tear rulers, I think by memory keepers, maybe. Um, let's see here. I've got one of them right here. Let's see who they're made by. No, yeah, we are memory keepers. So this is We Are Tear Guide. Um, and they come in like a pack of three, and each side has um, a different edge to them. So I did some playing cards, some old cards that I had. And then so this is the piece that I tore out of the book. And these are literally scraps. And we always have those little slivers and it's like, oh, what do you do with it? And, you know, always trying to come up with new ideas. So my thinking is, is that I could glue that down and make it like a side pocket. Or I could keep it like this, maybe um, put a hole up here and do it as a tag. The one thing about this paper is, um, let me see if I can find. On this one, I did art glitter glue. And you can kind of see around the edges where the glue, I don't know, it's kind of like stained it. Um, and, and I don't like that. That usually does not happen with me in paper. But I guess because this paper is so old, um, it happened. So I went to use a glue stick. And of course I'm holding it down here as I glue. And my corner tore off of the book page. So I've pieced it back together again. But what I would suggest is that you get some of your coffee stained or tea stained or any kind of, again, paper scraps that you might have and do a backing on it just to make it a little more stout. Because we know that these book pages are well on their way to being aged. All right. So anyhow, this is just some of the little ideas that I came up with. And again, this is totally using scraps or like embellishments that... I'm not quite sure where I got them from. This was a charm, and I just took some snips and, and cut off the little um, flat ring on the top. Um, but again, this was just out of, I have a, a dump bin, and I'll, I'm going to do a video of my um, studio again since I've kind of changed things up some. 
but I have this big dump bin where I have like all kinds of paper scraps and and um just stuff that and I've stood it all up so now it's easy to flip through and um, then these are some other book pages that I did um, and again I backed them these digitals are from antique papery and they were mostly like bookmarks and then I cut them down that they would fit I still do have to back these but this paper was just out of an um, a dictionary again that somebody had given to me as a little trade or something might have been wrapped up in this paper actually and so you don't want it to go to waste you want to use it so I've used it as something that I can just put inside of a pocket and then these are some more of the digitals from um, antique papery just to give you a little quick look through uh, I got them upside down roundabout um, but anyhow I <laughs> just keep flipping. I've got them a mess, I guess, from digging through there. But I mainly just wanted to show you how beautiful those old book pages were, um, you know, and to be ginger with them. And, and then to think about how you can take these and use more scraps that you have, bits and pieces. Um, I take bits and pieces and I'll, I sometimes will just put them in a cloth basket so nothing can go through the wire basket or a plastic basket and then I can just dig through all my bits and pieces trying to use things like that up. I'm um, part of a lot of um, not necessarily swaps or trades but when I go to a retreat you know people we swap things and give gifts to each other and that's where I end up with a lot of odds and ends and uh, again I have black paint on me one more time I'm gonna get my trays finished one day um, but anyhow, I just wanted to show you my, like I said, the old book pages. And so if you would remember that I do a video every Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. I have a Facebook group and a Facebook page along with my personal Facebook. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And you can also find my um, boards that I'm interested in on Pinterest. And I do have a small Etsy shop. So please stop by and see me and if you would right now, subscribe if you haven't and give me that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And in the meantime, I'll catch you down the road. And please behave. See you in the next video. Bye.